And hello, everyone. Welcome to Twitchy Tuesdays with C. Morgu. That's me. Checking my last audio settings here. All right, looks like I'm good to go. Everything looks like it's working more or less, although it took quite a few minutes to start seeing the stream. Interesting. Hey, Shu, how's it going? Uh, link is on my profile page for Twitch, I think. I don't remember. Um, the countdown is just a OBS plugin. So, I don't know. XSplit should have something similar, I would guess, but it's just an OBS plugin that I'm using. Um, so, yeah. Figured I'd spend a little bit of time just since the games are here. Do some skating. Wow, it's weird to hear all the sounds. I usually don't have my headphones on when I'm doing this, and uh, it's a little different. You can actually hear the uh, stuff, particularly the clock winding down. That being somewhat important. I almost need my sunglasses. This, this ice is so bright. Not getting game sound, huh? I wonder if that's enough for me to go back there and get that. Two, one. Nope, not enough. I guess I could have abundant stepped and got it. Oh well. Timing can be pretty tight on this, so you definitely want somebody with good movement speed. Get a good speed item on. Use your airship or pendant or whatever you can do to get more speed. and find a path that works for you. The reason I did that, and always go left side when you're up here. Oh, look, there's another one. Huh, look at that. I didn't quite need to do it that way then, oh well. Get these speed ups. So I have a better chance of getting the stuff that's up here that's worth more before time runs out. Yep, it's doing it again. I really dislike that. There we go. For some reason, sometimes you just can't jump correctly on there. It's annoying. So I'll check out game sound in a minute. I think I've got everything I need here. I'll head back. Oops. Taking too long. That sucks. That was pretty crappy. This morning I got over a thousand, which was nice. Let's see what OBS says. Well, it looks like OBS says game sounds are very low, which is intentional, but they are there. Actually, the music's too loud for me. I'm getting annoyed by the music. I normally play with just some sounds and not most of the others. In fact, that's what I do with most games. I turn the sound off immediately. Music and sound. Just how I do that. 
Hey, Armed with Pencils, how you doing? <clears throat> I can turn up just a bit. Let's see. Looks like that looks good. Put DDO up just a little bit and see if that helps. <clears throat> Still haven't got rid of whatever has been illness I had that's been lingering. It's annoying because I'm really ready to be done with it. Ah. Didn't want to hit that. Oh well. I think one of the most frustrating things about the skating is that uh, to a certain extent it's just really random. And if you don't get the stuff, you don't get the stuff you need. Like, for, for example, this. If that jump hadn't been there, I wouldn't have gotten that. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. I wouldn't say there's much skill involved in it. Just a matter of getting familiar enough with it that you can plot your usual course and have a know what to do if you miss something or see something that might be a better path. I'm not consider that skill and somehow I lost my chat so I can't see chat at the moment, which is fun. Oh yes, hello. Like right now I need a high jump to get that purple and I can't because I don't have one. And that's annoying. Let's see if I can get this. Sometimes you can get it. Yeah. Oh good, I was still doubled. That'll help. Buffs don't last very long. Clock's not ticking down, so I have plenty of time. And there's not much here to get, so it doesn't really matter. There we go, that's better. That's the third or fourth cold resistance 10 I've gotten since this event started this time. It's annoying. I want the lower one so I can make that. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, Dina Dunn. Um, yeah. I'm sorry to all the composers and sound designers and all that out there, but the first thing I do when I start a game is turn all the sounds off. They get really repetitive. Really quickly. Especially if you do the same quests, like if you do dailies. It gets really old. You can actually watch the uh, top left corner of the buffs and you'll see a uh, 2 minute 45 second countdown at the moment. That's your timer. So the trick is to have a basic path through that gets most of the hot spots and gives you time to improvise. Um, and get through it. And it might take you, I mean, 
some time to figure that out for yourself. But uh, once you've done it a couple times, like I haven't, <clears throat> the first time I stepped on the course after having not having done it for since last time, which was what it hasn't been since a year ago, has it? Has it been up? It just what I just fell right back into the thing. I did forget to jump left here on both of these, but other than that, I pretty much got it. And speaking of missing something, did I just miss that? I did. Oh, and then try to hit the buff before getting the things so you can double them. And there's no purple this time? Oh, come on, really? I was really hoping for a purple. I'll go ahead and get those while they're doubled. I need a high jump to get that. Oh, come on. I missed it, didn't I? Yep, didn't double it. It's annoying. Oh well. So I've got a minute left at this point. Which is plenty of time to scoop these up and head back. Depending how that final thing is. Oh wow, I didn't even see I missed that one. Those silver white whatever ones are hard to see sometimes against the background, which is also silvery white and bright. The important thing is to just, you know, keep relaxed and not stress about it. If you miss something, you miss something. If you have time to go back, you'll go back. If not, I got 30 seconds at this point, which is way pl plenty of time. To come up here and get the ones that are on the ramps up here. And now, with 20 seconds left, I'm done. And another crap result. <clears throat> but as you can see, I'm taking basically the same path. I'm getting pretty much everything I can get. Obviously, there's a couple purples that are out of jump range unless you have high jump. I'm not getting those. And where the doublers are makes a difference. If they're right next to a couple golds and a purple, then you obviously have a higher score. So as long as you can make it back to the end of the course in, or that last ramp up to the half pipe kind of thing in, you know, with the 20 or 30 seconds left, you're usually good. If you're behind that, then you won't finish. And then if you don't finish, you get penalized. You don't get your full score worth of stuff. So whether that, that managed you, uh, you know. I actually don't know how many of these things I have at the moment. I might have a couple days worth. Look, one of those. Doubler, check the side. I see that one there. I don't see. Ah. Purple, six seconds on that left. I want the silver, not the high jump. Oh, now see this high jump I can use. Oh, no, there we go. It's going to be mad. That takes a little bit of practice to get the high jumps. Use the high jumps and get, use them to get the things. Because they're... Well, frankly, they don't come around very often, so you don't get much practice. <laughs> then you have to make sure that you're close enough because they're really short duration. Ideally, you'd have a doubler and then get it. Best case scenario. In here, you can go left side, right side, or center first. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever you feel like. For some reason, I've been going left side a lot first, but... Whatever your preference, just make sure you at least check everywhere. Like right here, I'm going to go ahead and go down here and get these so I don't have to come back later. Get them. And actually, I'll come back on the center line up high. <clears throat> and oh, there is a high jump here. I can get this one. Yay. High jump really slows you down, too. So keep that in mind. Uh, I'm going to grab that and go up. Purple, no doubler. Good 
good stuff. Grab these ones in the center over here. I still have 36 seconds, which is plenty of time. Obviously, the skates are going to... I mean, you can still use your tokens without the skates, and you're not going to get as much, but if you're just trying to get, like, the fire resistance on the... Um, whatchamacallit... cosmetic, then you don't really need to worry about that too much. I think last time it was up, I tried getting really low scores. Oh, hey, fire resistance 5. That's good. And it comes down to being just random. I know there, there was some statistical analysis done by someone in the forums that was showing that there's some correlation between your score based on their sample. Um, the lower your score, the lower numbers you get, which really makes sense for glaciation, but the cold resistance, not so much. But anyway, I, I tanked. I tried to get 0 and 1 and 2 and 5 and tried to get those lower ones last time. So I think I have some of those saved up. I don't remember. I have to look in wherever those are. I don't know if they're in my bank or one of my character's bags or something. How many of these things do I have left? I have six more. Wow. I'm probably going to go that long. I'll do maybe one more run and then call it for today. It's kind of relaxing. Something different to do in game, which is, you know, can be nice. Especially if you're waiting for something else to happen. Oh, that was nice. Hmm. Jump, but nothing to use it on. Uh, but there's a silver next to it. <clears throat> 10 seconds on my doubler. Oh, yes. Get the gold with the doubler. That's nice. Nothing on that side, wow. Doubler's gone. And that's why I like it. It's easy to get burnt out if you do them all in a row. That's why I was trying to keep keep from getting too many stockpiled so I didn't do them all in a row but it uh, looks like I stockpiled more than I thought and there's many different paths through here don't take the path that I'm using as being the most efficient or best or anything I just so it works for me And yeah, I'll go ahead and grab them. I got a minute left. It's good. Jumping is really easy to burn yourself out on. I like skating a little bit better because it seems like there's more of a point to it. So I'm just going to get mad at that. Nope. All right. This may take some finagling to get. I missed it. Okay, I'm 37 seconds, so I gotta get these quickly. There we go. <clears throat> Especially if you're a monk and can do the, the uh, dinghy jump, or even the boathouse jump, it can get really tedious to keep on doing that. 699 really? I thought that was going to be a much better run. Oh well. I suppose I could do that real quick. Hey, Cordovan, how's it going? I think I still have a couple hundred purple coins sitting in my bank somewhere, so I should be good if I want to use them or sell them or whatever.
And the same thing here, make sure you have your best speed item, your best jump item, etc. on <clears throat> and all that stuff. And then you just, uh, yeah, go get it. That's all there is to it. And then hop in here. Unless there, I didn't see if there was two instances or not. I suppose I can turn some stuff on. And then I want to do this. Jumping takes key, so it's nice to have it regenerate. Ideally, there's a couple instances in the harbor and you can rack up stuff real quick doing it that way. Otherwise, you have to come in here and it's a minute in here for everything to repop, or three minutes if you're outside, which either way works. Something, something easy to do while you're waiting for something else to happen. Yep, it's back. Nope, still only one instance. Anyway, enough of that. I just wanted to do the winter stuff since it's here. Head to my ship, and then I'll switch to Shaw, and we can see what LFMs are up and what we're going to be doing. I gotta be careful about the wind noise because that is copyrighted and uh, yeah, can cause issues if you let it go too long with it being just the uh, wind noise by itself and not uh, have something else going on that kind of just um, breaks up the sound so it doesn't trip the uh, copyright bots. I consider it fair use because I'm streaming game with that sound built in, but not my choice. I'm not sure about the airship one. I presume the airship one as well, but I know the giant hold one does. Uh, yeah. I have copyright claims on some of my videos uh, from Giant Hold. I know Illyvarn has, I think Queen has. So there's a group of us that have had copyright claims from sounds from DDO, pure DDO sounds. I can look it up on my YouTube account again and see if it's still there. But yeah, that happens. Evidently, somebody claiming that they have a sound effects CD called wind noise or something or other and uh, yeah they did a copyright claim I know that one for sure happened to me I thought we had nothing I care to look at at the moment it's a specific sample I'll check. I'll check again, but yeah, I was a little annoyed by that. What happened is I went to Giant Hold and I took a break for like five, ten minutes. And so the entire time the Giant Hold wind noise was happening. And then when I uploaded that video, it was uh, flagged for copyright violation because of that. So yeah, fun stuff. All right, so this is Shaw. Um, I made it to 18. No, it's YouTube. YouTube's where I had it, the problem. I haven't noticed anything from Twitch. It may have happened on Twitch too. I just didn't notice. Um, 
Shaw's actually has enough experience for 19, but of course don't take 19. So we're just trying to get that last bit of experience to get capped heroic. But I can get into epics where I'm more comfortable. And uh, then TR out of this paladin, which I don't like to play, into something else. Yeah, I'm sure I screenshotted my YouTube copyright thing and posted it somewhere, but I don't remember where that was. Uh, let's see. Let's see what LFMs are up. That would help. Army of Shadow. I gotta get this going. I forgot to uh, do the Who thing. No. I really just don't want to do Wayland. <laughs> oh, we could, but I just don't feel like... I think I'm going to see if I can get some Veil going. I know there's a couple I can do myself, so if nothing else, I have that as a backup. Awesome, Cordovan. Yeah. I'll check my... Actually, is there a quick way to see that? There is something like uh, copyright notices, yes. Includes copyright content. No, that's not what I wanted. That's a different one. And that's a different one. See, so, yeah, I don't see it now, but it was up there for a while. I'll have to find that screenshot I took. <clears throat> Lost it again. What do I want to do first? Probably... I don't really like Rainbow either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to do this. <clears throat> Maybe I'll go to the... Um, I don't know. Yeah, I often get distracted when I do screen swaps and forget that I have something up. Or I could just start with coal. I think I'll start with coal. <laughs> Falling with style. Well, flying is nothing but falling at the ground and missing, so, you know. Other things that see me. I don't really like any of these quests out here, but coal, although annoying, is something that I it, I've done enough that I feel like it's easy to do. It's just kind of tedious. It's not particularly difficult. It's just tedious. At least it's most of the classes I play. All right, guys, I gotta turn around and pay attention to these guys now. It 
See, the other thing about psionics is they're just basically magic. I don't really see that there's a huge difference between psionics and magic. So, no. Oh, there's somebody in my party. How about that? I have two people in my party. How about that? <clears throat> yep, looks like it. Value. Instead of veil, I said value. That's awesome. Oh, I think we're start with coal. I suppose I should start buffing. Oh, it's so much faster with Quicken. So glad I took that. It's amazing how once you get in the veil that people just pop up in your group. I used 4% of my spell points to buff up. Big deal. And it took a lot less long than it would have without it. It's definitely worth it. Particularly when I'm actually using community describing and need to heal before I die. But it just makes buffing so much shorter. And besides the fact I have my con op goggles on, so I'm getting my spell points back. So I'm back at 100%. So I've lost nothing.
Really, my constraint here is my uh, divine mites and uh, whatever the other thing is. Holy retributions. Those are the things that matter on this character. Spell points don't really matter. Unless I run out of that and I need to heal. But then I've still got lay, of hand, lay on hands if I need it. So. Yep. Hi, you're a champion. Order priority, champion, and then caster. And then it really doesn't matter from there. And then just wander around this until I complete it. Basically. I don't really do a lot of uh, planning or memorizing exactly which route to go. I just sort of wing it once I'm here. I enjoy being mostly immune to trog stench. That's really nice. Mm, I suppose I should greet the newest person in. This can be tricky. Sometimes those things hit, and sometimes they hit delayed, which is really fun. You're like, oh, I made it. Oh, crap, no, I didn't. The auto group wore off. Is anything else down here? Was there? Nope. Okay, back out. <clears throat> Oh, look, somebody got ahead of me. Hey, wise man, how's it going, Mr. Gimp? When we go around, I always forget. Yeah, I feel gimped. I just don't, really don't like this paladin. 
64 mysterious remnants. That's cool. That was a nice smite. <laughs> Need to fit true sight in here somewhere. was that last night? Stream Tom and Gemini were both on streaming Cold Chamber. That was funny. <laughs> I thought I accidentally opened the same channel twice. At first. Bad exterminator, dude. Else's. Oh, excuse me, that'll help. Out of my bear. I'll take the bag too. There we Yay, all right, which way are we going? We need to go this way. Can you tell I've done this recently? Because my map's still here. there yet? Are we there yet? Whew, that was some jump lag. I thought I was going to be uh, falling or dead or something. All right, don't want me to have the treasure bag, I won't have the treasure bag. I'm not going to stay there clicking on it all day. It's close.
Why can I not jump up there? Thank you. Remember top of my buffs at some point. <laughs> this is where I get confused of where we want to go. We want to go this way. Since I have a map, should help. Is this the right way? Yep, it is. Trip me, you jerk. Hey, that was rude. Always, always, always in the rest shrine. Let things spawn. That was pretty awesome. The wolf opened it. Ran right through it. <laughs> okay, there's a new DDO Chronicle up if everybody didn't see it already. Weekend bonus is going to be the uh, what, Guild Renown and Group XP, I think. That'll be fun. Hey, city, how you doing? <clears throat> Get the uh, thing there. Not too horribly bad at the moment. I think I'm going to take a shortcut and just kill those guys. Buffs wearing off. You've already webbed, dude. There's plenty of webs here. No, you're gonna keep on webbing. All right. You do that. Oh, there's a guy up there or something that webbed.
Don't tell me what to do, DM voice. Laundry! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Need to clean the cat boxes after the stream, so my time is going to be limited. Slightly by that. These casters are just being real jerks today. That light damage and webbing and acid rain and fog. Just real jerks. Hey, Virtual Gibbon. How's it going? Yeah, I'm really bad at about consumables. I know they're there, I just don't generally use them. Like right now, I should probably have some Raised Dead or Res Scrolls or something. Just uh, don't have them. Keep forgetting about them. I have my triple positive staff, so at least I have one. If I absolutely need it. Someone died, but doesn't affect me any. His chest, like, you know, his ribcage chest, or what? Oh, good, somebody else got him. Means I don't have to worry about it. Most of the time I don't mind, but sometimes I just don't feel like dealing with having to go back and get somebody. Alright, what do I have that's feather following me? That, probably. Yeah, web being midair, that's a great idea. Nothing attached to webs to, jerk. Am I supposed to be going north now? I forget. Yep, I missed. Oh well. The jets are up, right? So I can just take the jets up. There it is. <clears throat> well, that was quick to get to Orange Alert. Okay. I have a feeling you won't listen to me even if I tell you to interrogate the box. Just take care of it in your way. <laughs> Probably. I don't mind it. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'd like to be able to do it faster, but all things considered, it's not bad. I thought it was a little more intense than I thought it would be. Mr. Frocky is a uh, champ. Potion of Piker's Victory. Yeah, that's what I had heard from the forums about the band.
I don't know where I'm going. Probably this way. It's a tarp. All right, now let's kill some bats. And yeah, we need to go that way. Hey, Mari, how's it going? Glad you could stop by today. Welcome. Hoping your evening of guild play with City and all them are been going well. Yeah, I uh, got a thousand earlier, and I think I got a either a cold ten or a fire five. I don't remember which resistance one I got from that one. Other than that, it was just glaciation of varying values that I don't pay attention to. It's a huge investment to get the glaciation going. of time, if nothing else. Oh yeah, the door we need. Let us see what is revealed behind this. What's behind door number one? Actually, it's number two, isn't it? There's the cube. <laughs> uh, people that aren't ignored yet, huh? That's cool. Glad people are still having fun playing. This life is not as fun as I was hoping it would be. So I'm looking forward to getting to something else. Where did the cube go? Oh, there he is. That was weird. Cube disappeared and then he just suddenly reappeared. That is so weird how the cube just disappears like that. There's no cube there. Where is he? And then all of a sudden you walk over there and you're engulfed. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, Chunks. Only 10 that time. Mm-hmm. Everybody get your cubes out. So we can be cube on cube violence. That's fifteen. What's the threshold for um, conquest? Like 450 or something like that. Oh, you stupid bat. There we go. One of those annoying bats that won't die. So 
So yeah, if you do get the fire resistance and cold resistance stuff, then you can put on your cosmetics like this, and then it's fun. You have nice stacking cold and fire resists that, well, I don't have the bases anymore, so... Yeah. Just the yeah, blade forged. Extra fortification fortified. Looks like all that's going well. I went ahead and rebooted my router and my PC before streaming, so hopefully that preemptively did the Yeah, they're piking, but I don't really care. I said I would I would do the solo if I had to anyway, so having other people makes it faster. And less likely that I'll die. So that's cool. I don't mind. It's a full party though. Well four forty seven we still have mail. Let's see three more, maybe it's four fifty. I don't know. Cool, Cordovan. Thanks for stopping by. See ya. So it's about 4.50. Gotta remember that for next time. Because I, th I think I'm going to have to run this a couple more times. To get my level. I don't know, we'll see. It's an ambush! Oh my gosh, it's an ambush! I never expected an ambush! This ambush. Oh, I got so mad at this ambush. Because I didn't realize it was required. I was so mad when I figured that out. I had to come all the way back here to do it. So now I just always remember it says ambush, then stick around and kill everything. like we're done with that crap. I really don't like that ambush at all. This part can be tricky. Especially when somebody triggers their bats. playing a mud that had a spell 
don't remember exactly what it was called. It was something like Radiate, Radiate or something like that. But basically, it uh, it did like a fireball and a disease and a poison and like a something else all at once, which is pretty neat. What we have trapping. That's amazing. We got Vandal at least. Everybody just ran past. All right then. If that's what they're going to do, I'll let them. Hello. Character knew less cool stuff, but a little ledge is his downfall. He just can't make it up that ledge. But it is awesome. Ingenious disabilitation. Nice. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? It's almost done. Just a little bit more jumping and we're there. Oh, the first time I was in here by myself without death ward and all that stuff, it was ridiculous. So I was not a fan of this quest. Then I needed some pieces of stuff for my green steel and kept running it and got used to it and it's not all that bad now. I used to follow the wiki guide. Now I don't even bother, I just sort of wing it. I know the basics of what I have to do, and the details, eh, whatever. So if I have to go a few more rooms, I have to go a few more rooms. Not a big deal. I do have to make jumps, though. Almost missed two jumps there. That would have been fun. It would not have been fun. Let's see what else has been happening. Did a guild run of Caught in the Web with our Warlocks last week. And despite the fact we got owned several times, just four of us completed it on Epic Normal, so that was kind of cool have it done. Our other guild group failed in offering a bloody in. What else? I don't think I can think of anything else, more other exciting things we've done recently. Some stuff's easy, some stuff isn't. The hardest thing about Caught in the Web was getting Anna to go through the stupid portal at the end. She did not want to do that, and I don't know why. Took us probably a dozen tries, and we were right on the edge of having enough DPS to kill the portal keepers, so it was exciting. In this instance, I would definitely transform out of air form to make this run. I, it's hard enough in here without being twice the size of a person or more.
Well, that just makes it really easy, doesn't it? Got them all dancing and held. And... Oh, I'm going to remember to put this on this time. Oh, I don't know if I got it. I keep forgetting to put that stupid thing on. My extra 5%. Alrighty then. That little thing is over here. I figure since we have a full party, devils be the next logical choice. We've got a wizard, so after that, oh, nope, nope. All right, so there's only three of us now. That'll make it interesting. I'm going to say if we still had a wizard, then it'd be worth doing a uh, what's major. dust. I don't remember if I did that and I haven't done this and I'm really not paying attention today. So I started with skating, that's why. Let's check my LFM just to make sure. Need any changes to my LFM? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh no. Siloth cast a spell on me. I much prefer the auto join. Hmm. A couple of champions could be difficult to deal with. There we go. Whoa! Wow. I did not see Hello House. My hit points were. I was down to something like six. I'm caught on the torch. That was exciting. Almost died first thing. That's what we want. Come here. One at a time. Come here. Dude, assassinate you. Jerk face. Next on the list, we have you. Hmm. See, I caught somebody else's attention as well.
do, 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 do. There he is. Oh, that light damage. Man. I should put it on uh, lightning resist. And this damn voice seems, seems like he's in, thinks he's in charge of me or something. I don't know. Tell me what to do all the time. I have a text message. Uh, 
seriously. That light damage is just ridiculous sometimes. Let's get some buffs going. They really don't like me. I don't know why. Is it because I'm a ribbit? Am I annoying their delicate sensibilities or something? Bye-bye. Who was victorious? We were, we were victorious, weren't we, dog? Why?
Sleeping dust. Cat died or fell asleep or something, yes. Uh, I always take the wrong way anyway. Hey, I found it pretty quick this time. is it anyway? Oh, 6.30. This might be my last one. I can kill the spiders right here, because I don't care yet about that. This is one I need people for, because as a two-handed fighter, this quest sucks. It is very difficult. For a while I had it down and then I haven't really played it very much lately, so I just sort of lost it all. Okay, the way I knew it was to go the wrong way initially and then come back, and when I came back I could find the entrance. I don't know how it worked that way, but somehow it did. And now that doesn't work for me, so got to figure out something else.
second part of this is the part where I just have to kind of sit back and relax. Try not to kill anything. Because I generally take out everything around me when I kill stuff. Alright, so it's not down this way. See you, shoot. Oh, so I found the journal. Checking to make sure all the ogres are dead. So that makes this next part easier. Sit here for a second. While well, they take care of that. Need to stand up and stretch and all that, but I can do that after this quest. I think I need to go get some housework done, take care of animals and stuff. So, this will be my last quest. People over here in the southwest and the south. Don't know if anybody went north. <laughs> sleeping dust, cold chamber, sleeping dust. That's awesome.
Uh, all right. Hmm, this is becoming a disturbing trend. My party keeps dying. Night, Mari. Or, you know, exploding barrels. One or the other or both. I, those ogre mage are so annoying, aren't they? Man. Inevitably, I'm the one that finds a journal, and I'm the one who sits here and waits while everybody else kills stuff, because, you know, that's how it goes. Preserve spiders, yummy. Just what I want. Barrels can do a surprising amount of uh, damage. I always find it funny when that happens. Like, oh, that was an explosive barrel. Oh, I'm dead. Wow, that, that hit hard. Hmm. All right, whatever. I don't know if I've buffed recently. I was waiting for a while, so let's make sure all my buffs are on. Yep. It's been a long time in backpacks that way. As he falls, there's the unmistakable crack of a shoe drop in his tail. Not this way. Oh, was it over here? Uh, 
I'm going to go around unlocking doors. I suppose they want me over here in the east somewhere. Hmm, not that way. Let's be this way. Yeah, that reminds me, I need to figure out that jump puzzle in uh, Deathworm, so I don't have to be carried in backpack every time I go in there. Perfect. Yeah, if somebody draws them off like that, it's much easier to get in there and just hit the one dude that you need to hit. I say, watch the stupid spiders, dude. Come here, jerk. Get away from those spiders. <laughs> yeah. It does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Doing fairly well at the moment. Yeah, and then there's a whole airship thing and all sorts of stuff is all snowy. I have no idea where we are, how we're where we're going, how we're getting there.
Uh oh, I got a sneeze coming. Can I get to mute in time? Oh, excuse me. Oh, almost got him. Got him. I actually hit a different key. Thank you. All right, my life is me, Cole. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Have a good dinner. So what are we doing now? We still not get in where we need to go. Oh my god. This looks like where we need to go until it goes that way. I don't want it to go that way. Oh, 
about this way. I have a phone call. Way to the upper level of the tower. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, sorry about that. We're having some payment drama with the Japan trip and uh, trying to get it sorted. Yeah, it's it's a mess. The stupid thing was, you know, the website said, "Hey, payment was declined," but then it everything else acted like it was done. Even the thing I got in the email said it was paid. So I'm like, "Okay, is it paid or is it not paid?" Because you're telling me both things. What the heck? Evidently, it's not paid. So I don't know. I'm trying to use a different account. It's just not not working well. So we'll see. Then why did you confirm it? Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. It's, you know, bought these really expensive overseas tickets and it said it's paid, but there was an error on the page, but it still said it was everything was fine. I didn't see anywhere to say, go back and fix the payment. And then they called the bank. The bank said, uh, I don't know. So I'm going to have to call them probably tonight or tomorrow and say, okay, what's what's up here? Because uh, I tried everything and it did not work. Switch this before I forget. Yay. That was longer than it should have been, but hey, you know what? We did it. It is done. And that's what we wanted. So... Yep, yep. It has been done. We are done. I am done. Just get back to Meridia, and then I'm probably just going to log off from there. I'll do my collecting and stuff later. Yay. Oh, stupid thing took me out here instead. All right, that's fine. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. This has been Twitchy Tuesdays with Sumorgo and DDO Stream. Most Tuesdays I'm here, 5 p.m. Eastern till whenever I feel like it. Um, I don't think Damsels are on tonight, but Court Event will be on tomorrow for the weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream. Um, we have more and more shows coming out. Um, people get added to the calendar fairly frequently, so keep an eye out for that. Um, if you want to stream on this channel, send a message to Cordovan and let him know. Try to squeeze you in. Um, other than that, uh, oh, I probably will stream tomorrow evening with Zergiso, prep with Queen, and maybe Skunk. We'll see. From Kaneth. 
And yeah, I think that's about it. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Good luck with your loots and good night.